Last week, South Korea marked the 70th anniversary of the Korean War armistice. In the country for the commemorations were delegations of 22 countries that fought alongside the South as part of the UN forces. Among them was the leader of Luxembourg, which has sent the highest proportion of troops relative to the country's population. And our Choi min Jung sat down with the Luxembourg's PM. To commemorate the 70th anniversary of the Korean War Armistice Agreement last week, Luxembourg's leader Xavier Battelle visited South Korea together with a 93-year-old Korean War veteran, Leong Moyen. Speaking to Arirang News, Battelle said the anniversary was so important that he, as the head of his country's government, felt the need to come. So far as it's uh, important, that's the reason why I came myself, also that the Prime Minister was, uh, uh, was, was important for, for myself to be here and also with a veteran shows the importance for my country. Seven decades ago, Luxembourg was a country with a population of only around 200,000 people. Despite its small size, the country decided to send 100 combat troops to South Korea, the largest number of troops in terms of ratio to population among countries that fought in the Korean War. The Prime Minister explained that it was a soldier's choice to fight for freedom and democracy. It was a free choice of young guys. And when I spoke to Mr. Moyen, he told me that uh, it was just a few short time after Luxembourg was attacked by the Germans. So uh, he decided to, to defend, uh, even if it was far away, also democratic values. So that's the reason why he decided to come. It was his choice, but I respect it, and we, Luxembourg, supported it. The leader also said the Korean War had never been spoken about in his country as much as it was last week, thanks to his and the veterans' presence at South Korea's commemoration events. So that's, that's what is good to keep in mind and not to forget. We have to learn from every conflict because we always say history has not to repeat and we see that history is repeating all the time. And since the war, the prime minister said relations between South Korea and Luxembourg have been good and will be developed further. But uh, we will open an embassy now in Seoul. Maybe Seoul, Korea will open an embassy in Luxembourg too. Uh, that would be next step. He also looks forward to potential visits to Luxembourg by South Korea's president and veterans minister in the future. I think this is important because the survivors of, uh, of the Korean War, are five are not able to travel, but they would be very happy and moved to, to see that even if they are not able to travel, they are not forgotten. Luxembourg's leader stressed that the Korean War has proved South Korea and his country are trusted partners and that even distance doesn't determine the size of friendship. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.